Hey YouTube, I'm Kelsey, and if you've ever been curious about a career in IT, then you're in the right spot. IT, or information technology, gives you access to all of the good things in life, especially from a job perspective. A great salary, work-life balance, the works. In fact, we're giving you access to free IT training for a limited time to help you get started in your learning. You're getting access to this for free, so why not indulge your curiosity a little bit, even if you're a little intimidated by IT, which is only natural. Before we get into the good stuff, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for exclusive access to new re resources when they become available. We are going to be live for the next eight weeks, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern time, to talk about everything that you need to get started in IT. All right, so let's get right into it. What is this all about? Who are we? Who are you? What are we doing here? Let's get started with you. We wanna to get to know you throughout these next eight weeks. This is live, so we encourage you to use the chat box as a sounding board. I saw Meg and Josh um, chiming in a little bit earlier, so we're really happy that you are here no matter where you're at in your IT journey. We are here to help you um, along the way. You probably haven't heard of CompTIA, and that's okay. We're here to help you get the resources and the education that you need to live long and prosper in IT. The thing is, is that if you're good with tech and you have a knack for curiosity and problem solving, then IT is right for you. CompTIA, or CompTIA, or CompTIA, as sometimes we're called, <laughs> is the Computing Technology Industry Association. We give you the tools that you need to learn new IT skills, and then we test your knowledge with our certification exams. Basically, our certs tell your employers that you not only know what you're talking about, but you know what you're doing, and that's what lands you the job. I'm here with my colleagues, James and Justin, and today we're going to introduce you to one of our beginner certs and training solutions, ITF Plus, or IT Fundamentals. You'll notice that we add plus to a lot of our certifications from entry level to advanced, but hey, we plus up your life in a lot of different ways, so bear with me on that one. <laughs> Like I mentioned, we have training products and certification, so really it's a one-two punch to get started in IT with CompTIA. CompTIA ITF Plus is the certification and the training product that you need to get your hands on right now. Certmaster Learn for ITF Plus is that training product, and it's normally $180, but you can get it for free for a limited time. If you already have it and you're joining us, we'd love to know a little bit about how your training is going so far in the comments. And if you have questions, we'll tackle those in a little bit. So who are we? These faces that are on your screen, <laughs> that everyone's used to just seeing faces on screens now. Um, we're not the Brady Bunch, although we could be. Um, I'm Kelsey and I work in our IT Pro marketing team here. I'm newer to the company and I'm just shy of my one year anniversary. I've learned so much about IT in the last year. It's, it's amazing, honestly. And so if you're just getting started, trust me, I'm in your corner and I know that you can do this. James and Justin, do you care to introduce yourselves? You bet, you bet. Uh, but Justin, before I, I throw it over to you, uh, everybody, where are you calling in from? Uh, I'm calling in, I happen to be from Olympia, Washington, which nobody you know, knows where that is. Uh, I usually just tell people Seattle. So uh, <laughs> type it into the uh, chat window where you're uh, uh, coming in from. And Justin, where exactly are you? And tell us about yourself a bit. Hi, everyone. I'm Justin, and I'm in Chicago at the H, the headquarters for CompTIA. And I've been working here at CompTIA for about eight years now, um, working in a few different areas around the company before settling down in marketing, working on our student yeah. membership program. And I'm here today because I am currently training for ITF Plus, uh, mm -hmm. using CertMaster Learn as the training product. So I'll be providing that perspective of a student or learner um, preparing for ITF Plus um, for the exam and adding my comments and questions along the way. James? Hey, thanks, Justin. And Kelsey, where are you calling in from uh, uh, exactly? Uh, just outside of Chicago. I, I okay. left out. <laughs> yeah. So uh, as far as the US is concerned, we got someone way over on the left. 
or I guess it should be left. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, and then uh, people in the middle. So that's cool. Uh, I'm James Stanger, uh, everybody. Uh, uh, I'm the chief technology evangelist. I always have to kind of remember what that title is. And uh, my job is to work with IT professionals uh, around the world. I, I do a lot of uh, uh, presentations. I've done a lot of work in the cybersecurity space before. I uh, love tech. And I guess if there's a role here, it's somebody who uh, has uh, gone through that career transition before. Uh, 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 years ago, decades ago, I got a, a, a PhD in unemployment uh, English. And, uh, uh, and, and basically what I've done is uh, try to make that transition uh, into knowing IT. And so uh, uh, if you folks are curious, there was already a comment, uh, you know, can you make a 180 degree into IT? Well, uh, I did it. I got ITF certified a while back, years ago now. So I'm uh, restudying and uh, getting ready to uh, uh, pass the ITF uh, plus exam as well. So Kelsey. Awesome guys. Well, hey, it's really good to see that we are spanning from sea to shining sea right now, I think based off of our comments, which is awesome. Thank you all yeah. for, for tuning in. Um, so James, can you talk to us a little bit about what ITF covers? You bet. Uh, I always like to tell people that ITF kind of, how should you put this? Uh, I usually tell people it helps people make a transition from being consumers of IT. I mean, we all consume IT on our phones or whatever. I have an Android here, uh, as if you could see it. There you go. Uh, uh, the chosen people have Androids, right? Isn't that a, I don't know. You're not so sure about that, iPhone. are you? Yeah. <laughs> iPhone, yeah, yeah. Jeez. So everybody has their phones, right? And everybody uses tech every day. But how well, how well are you able to really understand what's going on underneath the hood? And so ITF is basically what it does, what I call it, kind of sets the horizon of expectations for what IT, uh, uh, what information technology is. It kind of talks about the pillars of IT, infrastructure, like endpoints, you know, phones, PCs, servers, um, uh, internet devices, all that fun stuff, cybersecurity, um, databases and search, uh, programming. It gives everybody a really good idea of where they can go in IT. That's the way I see it anyhow, Kelsey. Yeah, that's awesome. And actually, I one of the a few of the questions that we have coming in, I'm going to skip mm. over um, from our chat uh, earlier, but um, a lot of people are wondering, can you get into IT without a degree? That's a great question, man. That's a, uh, uh, let's see. Well, I got three English degrees and I still got into IT, you know, so that, uh, that, that tells you something, you know, that's one of the biggest myths out there that you have to uh, get a, some sort of like a, a computer science degree or a math degree, or you have to be somebody who's really big into that. Uh, I can't think of uh, most of the successful people I know did not go through a math degree or a STEM program. They didn't spend years in that. Most of the people, and I, I talked to people who are, vice presidents of security for major retailers uh, to uh, people working for banks. Um, I can think of a couple of them that may have gone that traditional computer route, but that's two out of hundreds. So there's my answer. Yeah, absolutely. And Justin, you're in marketing. So um, tell me a little bit about why you're looking to get into um, ITF. Yeah. Well, honestly, um, I really wanted to challenge myself and, and learn something new. And what better time to do that, right? Um, so I consider myself to really be non-technical. Um, I can set up a TV or a video game system, uh, basic troubleshooting on my computer, and things of that nature. But beyond that, uh, I really got to consult my, my tech friends or my IT department, you know, uh, those people who have more knowledge in those areas. So. Um, I really wanted to have a broader understanding of IT and I think ITF plus is just a great way to start. Yeah, I agree. I It was funny, I knowing that I'm newer to IT as well, even though I work in marketing, um, I didn't realize that non-technical was even a term that you, <laughs> you could use. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I am non-technical, which is absolutely fine. Um, and there's a lot of people right now that are going through maybe some furloughs and some hard mm -hmm. times because of the current situation. So um, some people were working in retail. Now you can't go into the store. Some people uh, were working in healthcare and maybe they want to move out of that. Um, or you're working in hospitality and that's an industry that's been hit pretty hard. So what are your thoughts on um, how ITF Plus can really help someone that comes from a super non-technical field like retail? Uh, and how can they jump in? How easy is it to jump into IT from that field? Uh, when I made my personal transition, one of the things that I, I wish I had ITF back then, it was, bas it was basically, 
well, good luck, kid. Go ahead and get started. You know, and it was very much school of hard knocks. So one of the first things that I've uh, done is find found ways to create my own little IT playground. And that by IT playground, uh, most of us have old computers hanging around. Uh, uh, we also have, again, our phones. We can use apps. Uh, there's an app called Termux, T-E-R-M-U-X in Android. And there are apps that allow you to kind of go into the phone and learn about how all of the sensors work and things like that. But as far as an IT playground, there are other things you can do too. You can create a free uh, uh, account in um, Azure or uh, uh, AWS or some sort of cloud provider. If, uh, if you're in Asia, Alibaba, that's another one. And those are ways that you can get in there and start playing with it. Get, uh, don't, just, don't just wade in, dive in. Uh, to the tech. You, you, you can't really do too much wrong that you can't recover from in this space. And that's something I think, just get adventuresome and start and start playing. There was a question earlier about uh, how long does it take the transition? You could argue a good IT worker never fully makes the transition, you know, but nevertheless, I think um, in a period of weeks, you can start to make that transition from consumer to producer. In a period of months, you can start being that power user. Well, I shouldn't say months. Yeah. You can start becoming that power user like you, Kelsey and, and Justin. People come to you all the time, right? Yeah. The time. yeah. Yeah. Tell us about that. <laughs> yeah. So oh. I, I actually, we were talking about this a little bit earlier. And, um, you know, my very first job was at a dog kennel at where, you know, you can board your, <laughs> board your pets while you go and travel. And, mm -hmm. you know, we used a computer system and I don't even know what it was back then in 2003, um, but we used it to um, check people in and there was constantly issues with the software. And, and, you know, I was that, you know, young buck just out there cleaning the dog kennels and they were like, we need some help in here. So um, I've always kind of had that curiosity. My very first laptop actually I earned after um, one summer of working that job. Um, it was very important to me to get my Dell laptop right then. So um, yeah, I've always kind of had that, uh, that curiosity and people do come to me for help. I know Justin, same thing for you. Yeah, Justin, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's that sense of curiosity. that's very important to any IT worker. It's like, how does that work? I, I find the best uh, IT workers uh, are the ones who really are fascinated with something and then they want to figure it out. And then another element of being a good IT worker is uh, uh, a willingness to share, right? You know, what you've learned. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of willingness to share what we've we've learned, I want to kind of give you guys an idea of um, what's to come from these broadcasts. This one is going to be obviously a little bit shorter, a little bit more of an intro, um, but that's okay. We want you guys to be able to take advantage of the free learning that we're offering right now. So you can dive in, just like James was saying, dive into not only the free Cert Master Learn for ITF Plus, but also dive into the different resources that are going to be in the description below. Um, we've got resources for people that are switching jobs directly from retail to IT, healthcare to IT. Um, so there's a number of different opportunities there for you guys to really sink your teeth into it. So um, I know that we've uh, we've been going for 13 minutes already. How is that even possible? Um, but uh, big thanks to James and Justin for um, getting us a little bit more familiar with ITF or IT in general. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to be here weekly throughout the next couple of months, and uh, we want to really help you guide uh, guide you through your studying. So um, we know that if you're displaced from your job right now, I saw that um, you know Buck Crazy mentioned that there's a lot of people that are laid off right now. Yeah. It's it's stressful in general to be uh, you know without a job or in between jobs or even just kind of like you're not enjoying what you're doing right now, and so you're not mm -hmm. inspired. You know what do I want to do next? The future's uncertain in all of those times. And then you add in a global pandemic on top of that. And that's just, yeah. that's next level for everyone. So whether you're displaced from your job now or you're curious about changing careers into IT, CompTIA is here to help you along the way. So be sure to check out the links in the description to take a control over these uncertain times. Um, we're gonna help you create an actionable learning plan. So. We'll see you next uh, on the next one when we go get into really the nuts and bolts of Certmaster Learn for ITF Plus, which reminds me, I know I keep mentioning it, but I really want you guys to take advantage of it because it's only available for a certain amount of time. Um, if you haven't claimed your free license to Certmaster Learn for ITF Plus, you definitely don't want to miss out. Again, it's a hundred and eighty dollar product that we are giving to you for free. How much is it, you guys? Free. 
tree. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to have them start to think during this as well, but that would make this broadcast way longer than it needs to be. So um, be sure to click the link um, in the description below. And uh, we've also included a few of our favorite resources um, for career changers as well. Um, if we didn't make it to your question, um, please follow up with us in the comments um, for the replay. We appreciate that. And um, we're also going to have some YouTube discussion boards so that you can really dive into um, things next week with us um, with Cert Master Learn. We want to hear what you're struggling with. We want to hear what you're yeah. excelling at. Uh, we want to hear, you know, how can we help you? This is why we're here in the next couple of weeks, a uh, few weeks, actually, eight yep. of them. So <laughs> we'll see you Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Central. 7 p.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, let us know in the comments if we can do anything else to kind of help guide you in your studying process. And don't forget to subscribe so that we can uh, give you more great uh, access to content here on YouTube. That's it for now, but we'll see you next week. And don't forget to snag that Cert Master Learn license for ITF yeah. Plus. Yeah. Um, and thanks again, you guys. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you so much. Take care, man. Thanks. <laughs>